And this is uh, one of the Dorset groups we added to this group um, just because we were running out of space. So in here there's a bunch. The ones without the markings all over their back were here um, over the summer to breed for fall lambing. And then because we got new rams uh, coming in, we decided to add some, uh, for spring lambs, some of the open ewes we had. So they're in here that were being bred to the new ram. But when you look in here, I can see the earliest possible these guys could go is August, August 7th. They're due August 10th to start. And what you're looking for, aside from the udder development, because some, uh, some sheep develop udders at different stages. Some develop an udder well, well in advance. And others, it can be even like a week in advance before they develop an udder. And a lot of first timers in here, so they might have smaller udders and stuff like that. But what we're looking for when they get really close, when we, you know, are going to be checking the barns a little more frequently is when the ewes become rosy. And by rosy, I'm going to... Big Betty, what's with the lips there? What are you doing with those lips? That's Big Betty. Um, with rosy, I'll show you one who's rosy. So, um, this one here, she... She's, that's a normal vulva. It's light pink. It's not swollen or anything. It's just normal looking. Hi, Betty. How you doing? But when, once they um, get within a week or less of lambing, the rosiness starts. And I thought I saw someone in here who was rosy. So I'm going to look at that. So these are all normal looking vulvas, normal, normal, and I think this girl over here was getting close. Where is she? I'm going to pause and find her. Her vulva is getting a little darker pink and a little loose, a little, it kind of flops a little bit. She's getting closer, but that's not too close, but she, I can tell, is getting close because of that. But I did get a photograph of one. I'll post that in here so you can see what I mean. Oh, I can't find her in here. and They're all being silly. But that's what we're looking for. And on the Suffolk side... Hey, Felon. Hey, buddy. We definitely have some bags developing over there. So... Um, even one breeding out of season for the Suffolk is um, a bonus for us, uh, but there's way more than one. So we got a few of these girls. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some fall born Suffolk lambs, no cedars. So um, that's a really happy, good thing. And he's got a, these are all the um, cup. There's a couple of adults, but most of them are our first timers uh, that are just a year old so and they're in with felon who's um nice consistent ram he throws good uh, boxy uh good bodied sheep he's he's someone who does have high genovis numbers and uh is one of the few high genovis numbered sheep we have who actually follows through on the number thing but uh, he's a good ram to put in with first timers because he's uh, not overly large. He's just a good average sturdy ram. Um, these girls will have no problem having lambs for the first time with rams out of him. And here's all my nice girls here. Hi. Hi, you guys. Hi. the afternoon right now middle of the afternoon and like people 
This seems to be the sheep siesta time. So it's a nice, beautiful temperature today. Nice breeze going through the barn. And here we go. Here's a girl who oh, will give her privacy for pooping. But that, she's a lot more rosy. Pinker, a little bit floppy on the behind, which means it's uh, loosening up. She's loosening up in preparation for lambing because uh, you don't want to be too tight or it's going to be a difficult birth. So um, the body gets prepared and things start to relax that are supposed to relax. And she's got a little letter there. She's a first timer. But I think she's going to be one of the first uh, to go. These will be August lambs, I'm sure. But um, just looking around the barn, I would say we got a high, high catch this, uh, this season, which is all is nice. 